Homeward Bound, Daily Devotional by Ellen G. White God Inspired Prayers May 20th Show me thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths Psalm chapter 25 verse 4 But because this experience of being new creatures in Christ is theirs, Christians are not to fold their, ha- their hands content with that which has been accomplished for them. Those who have determined to enter the spiritual kingdom will find that all power and passion of ungenerated nature, backed by the forces of the kingdom of darkness, are arrayed against them. Each day they must renew their consecration, each day do battle with evil. Old habits, hereditary tendencies to wrong, will strive for the mastery, and against these they are to ever be on guard, striving in Christ's strength for victory, renouncing all that would hinder them from making progress in the upward way, or that would turn feet of another from the narrow path. The believer will reveal in their their daily life mercy, kindness, humiliation, meekness, forbearance, and the love of Christ. The power of a higher, purer, nobler life is our great need. The world has too much of our thoughts and the kingdom of heaven too little. In their efforts to reach God's ideal for them, Christians are to despair of nothing, moral and spiritual perfection through the grace and power of Christ is promised to all. Jesus is the source of power, the fountain of life. He brings to us his word, and from the tree of life presents to us leaves for the healing of the sin-sick soul. He leads us to the throne of God and puts into our mouth a prayer through which we are brought into close contact with him. In our, in our behalf, he sets in operation all powers in our behalf he sets in operation the all powerful agencies of heaven at every step we touch his living power god fixes no limit to the advancement of those who desire to be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding through prayer through watchfulness through growth in knowledge and understanding they are to be strengthened with all might and according to his glorious power thus they are to prepare to work for others it is the saviour's purpose that human beings purified and sanctified shall be his helping hand for this great privilege let us give thanks to him who has made us meet to be prepared of the inheritance sorry made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints of in light who has delivered us from the powers of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son Homeward Bound, 